So, yesterday I made a video about the whole entire um, Ava Chris Tyson situation, and if you want my full entire opinions on that, and for me to go through all the accusations, I definitely recommend going and watching that video first. So, I'll link that video down below at the top of the description, so you can go get, refresh your mind, or if, you don't, if you're not really up to date and you don't know the entire thing about what happened with Chris Tyson, I recommend going and watching that first, just so you get my whole entire opinions of how disgusting I think this whole entire situation is, and exactly what went down. But today, we do have have updates and in terms of updates I don't mean we have any updates in terms of like you know there's more stuff that's come out but more or less that we have had Chris Tyson themselves have actually responded on Twitter even though like I said um, in my video yesterday that their whole entire Twitter a month ago had been completely wiped they wiped all of everything all their Twitters all their tweets all their replies on Twitter about a month ago but then they have come out today with a somewhat, I wouldn't even call it like a, an apology. Like you, you can, it's technically an apology, but to me, it's more of like just a response to all these accusations. Well, not really. I, I don't know if you'd even call them accusations anymore or all like, you know, blatant, you know, disgusting actions that have, that Chris Tyson has displayed in the past. So this right here is the, apolo is the apology and it's in a few tweets as well. And Chris Tyson goes ahead and says, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior and comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. I want to add I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations at Lava has vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Now, I don't know why... Like, they have decided to do this apology in multiple different, like, replies. You could have just done this in one whole tweet. So I don't have to, you know, screenshot all different, you know. Or even on screen, it's in one screenshot. But still, I don't know why they haven't put all of this in, in, in one reply. Now, when it comes to this um, so-called apology, it definitely seems like a HR response. And, I mean, do I blame them? Not really. I mean, this is probably the best way they can go about it. It's the exact same of when it comes to the whole entire doctor's disrespect situation, which we're going to bring up a few times in this video as well is that when you get a when you get not just accused of actions like these but these actions turn out to actually be true there's not really much you can really say is that if you're disgusted the way that you act um, especially towards minors in the way that Chris Tyson act in the, acted in the past and it's not like they said these things when they were a teenager when Chris Tyson said they said and and acted this way they were an adult and it's not like you know they were 19 or 18, you know, they were in their 20s. And by the time that you get in your 20s, you at that point have like, you know, you know what is right and wrong. So to me, no matter which way you go about it, no matter what Chris Tyson said, there's no real accepting of the actions that Chris has shown in the past. And it's not just Chris Tyson's response that we're going to be talking about in this video, but it's also other creators' responses because they have been quite interesting. And I, I do um, accept some of them like responses, and I think that some of the responses have been great. Um, obviously, just straight up coming out and saying that this, uh, these actions are absolutely disgusting. But there has been a bit of a double standard to all this. Now, when it comes to... First, we're going to look at Valkyrie. Now, I love Valkyrie as a creator. And first of all, she did respond to this. Now, she has no like obligation to respond to all this but i think that people mainly wanted like her um response to all this one because she is a massive creator and two because she spoke out about the whole entire dr disrespect situation now first of all valkyrie put out this tweet before now this has to be this has to be noted is that valkyrie tweeted this out before chris tyson did say anything and she said that i'm still in the process of moving so i haven't been able to fully keep up but in the meantime, since I've been tagged a bunch, pedophiles equal bad. Trans does not equal pedophile. The actions of one trans person does not mean all. Sucks to see so many anti-trans people act as if it does. I'm hoping Ava speaks up. Doc, disrespect is still gross. Lastly, to the incels that only tag Pokey and I to speak up. Even though everybody did after Doc, after Doc disrespect, did himself. You're weird. Focus your hate towards the pedos for once. Now, before I do get into um, Valkyrie's follow-up, because she did actually follow up from this, which is gr really good to see. 
Um, I do, I d have seen that a lot of people do, um, you know, just because it's come out that Chris Tyson acted this way, that all, you know, trans people are terrible. Now, I'm not here to say that whatsoever. Um, I, I, I think, I think that's kind of stupid, but yet again, that's just how the internet is. I mean, it's the exact same when it came to Dr. Disrespect. Before he came out and even said anything, there was a whole bunch of people just straight away, like, hopping on top of him because, like, you know, people hate men or he's more of, he's very much more of a conservative person. And because he's a conservative person, you know, a lot of people from the other side of the spectrum were just, were just jumping straight onto him. And this is the exact same situation, you know, because, um, Chris Tyson is seen more of someone who's on the liberal side of things. Conservatives are starting to sh straight away hop onto that, which, to, and, and labeling every, every trans person, a, a pedophile and just going straight for their neck. Exact same. Like, it, like it works hundred percent both ways. And I think to jump the gun on everything is, is, is pretty stupid. Stupid. But you know, we, even with Doctor Disrespect, like I made multiple videos about that, and with him, I, I never said like straight up in my videos, even though like people were getting like losing their minds in in the comments because of like my thumbnails, even though I was only quoting what these. Um, former employees were saying is that even I was just like, hey, it's not looking good for Dr. Disrespect, but we're still, we still have to wait for everything to come out. And then when it came out, then I jumped on him and I was just like, you're disgusting and I completely will not support you whatsoever anymore. Where with this Chris Tyson situation, you know, it, we have gotten the evidence before, like there's literally so much evidence before Chris Tyson has even had to speak out about all this. But like I said, Valkyrie has actually followed up with his response. After Chris Tyson themselves made um, the, their somewhat apology tweet, Ray did, um, you know, retweet it saying, I was hoping for more of a detailed response, but glad Ava is overall stepping away from Mr. Beast teams. Disappointing and disgusting. That's just, that, that's all Ray really needs to say. And it's great that she did like respond once, you know, she did wait for Chris Tyson's response. I feel like she didn't even need to respond in the first place when people are like tagging her and all that kind of stuff. I feel like she could just have ignored them, wait for Chris Tyson's response. She did the exact same thing with Dr. Disrespect. Uh, at least like from what I can remember, she waited. And once it, Dr. Disrespect came out and said, you know, made his whole entire tweet, he said, hey, what I said was, uh, and then, you know, what I, what he said was bad and all that kind of stuff. And he said he's stepping away for, for the time. That's when Ray came out and said something and said it was disgusting. And then with this, she, you know, I feel like she didn't need to say anything at first, but she did. And then once Chris responds, then she responds, which is good to see. But then there's another creator is Pokimane. Pokimane, obviously, you know, is, is a very outspoken person. And she put out this tweet before Chris Tyson said anything, saying, I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable regardless of who you are. Yes, 100, 110%. And then, but then she responds saying, it's a shame that people will see this opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. One person's actions does not reflect on every single trans person. So please don't view it that way. Like, there's no need to say that. Like, we, we know that. We know that. Any logical person really knows that. The only people that are actually, like, just going at the trans community, like, are, are, are idiots. Like, it, they, they really are. No, it's not every person. We know that. Any logical person knows that. Like, a lot of the majority of the people who are probably trans just mind their own goddamn business. It's only the small minority that are just really ruining it for the majority. But you don't need to say that to, like, backpedal on things. Just say, regardless of who you are, it's disgusting. But since Chris Tyson has, like, you know, made a response, Pokemon hasn't necessarily um, responded either. She did reply to... This person said SG saying, I, and where SG said, I don't know all the details. Why didn't you say the same thing for Dr. Disrespect situation? And then she responds saying, Dr. Disrespect made a statement himself with the details. Ava has yet to do so. And she's only watched one video. Respectfully, a 10 minute commentary video is not the most accurate news source. So I'm being honest in case more information comes out. Two things, Pokey. One, the information that's out about Chris Tyson is just blatantly terrible. Like it really is. It is all the information. You can literally watch my video, which was like just under 20 minutes long. And you can see that all the, uh, the, the evidence that I put in there is like, yeah, Chris, why do you, why, why are you talking in, in, in this way towards minors? It's absolutely disgusting. And then saying that, you know, they, um, Ava or Chris hasn't like come out with a statement yet. Well, now they have. 
since you've said this, where's your response for it now? And and unfortunately, Pokimane hasn't responded to any of this, and I hope that she actually does in the future. There's also a response here from Keemstar. Keemstar actually replied to um, Chris's um, apology tweet, and in this, he responds to saying, you didn't apologize to me a month ago in private when I brought up your behavior supporting the cartoon CP artist that drew my eight-year-old daughter in a sexual way. What changed? So to me, that is amazing, where it's just like, Chris... It has said that like on my actions in the past well from what Keemstar is saying saying that a month ago you 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 know were supporting cartoon cp artists still to this very day still to this day they are supporting a car a cartoon lolicon artist that apparently drew Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter in a sexual and you want to go ahead and you want to say that your actions no just say your actions now that to me is actually baffling my brain. So, the, and then this last response is from um, one of those people who actually made um, one of the lo the Lollicon videos um, about Chris Tyson, and they retweeted Chris Tyson's um, apology tweet, saying, "If I hurt or offended anyone, it wasn't my intent. You supported, a, and then saying you supported a man who made a career of sexualizing children and repeatedly made sexual re remarks around a 13 year old. We're smoking your pack." That's exactly right. It's like, how can you go ahead and say, like, it wasn't my intention to hurt anyone, but you were supporting a career of a man who was sexualizing children. How were you, how, how in your brain were you like, oh, this isn't going to offend anyone. This isn't going to hurt anyone. That was never my intent. Make it make sense. Make your apology make sense because it doesn't whatsoever and we're going to get into a couple of clips here as well and the first one is by hassan i i have i have i've had very strong feelings about hassan in the past um even though people say that i look like him a lot and every single time someone says oh Dottie, you look like hassan i'm just like please no no i don't stop calling me hassan i do not look like him maybe a little bit but he has completely dodged this entire situation, which to me is extremely surprising considering his like status, saying that he doesn't want to acknowledge all this because of, you know, the whole entire political scheme, the whole entire political situation in America where Joe Biden's stepping down. And you know what? If you want to keep talking about Joe Biden stepping down, that's absolutely fine. You're definitely more of a political channel. But for you being as vocal as you are when it comes to controversy, every single controversy, controversy, I feel like it is your right to go ahead and talk about a situation like this and not just completely dodge it. Has Hassan talked about Mr. Beast Chris? This is no different than the Cody Ko shit where people were just like, hey, I know that the current sitting president dropped out of the re-election campaign in the most historic thing that has happened in this election cycle in a sea of historic things that have happened so far. Has Hassan talked about Mr. Beast Chris? Oh no, don't ban me, just a question. I'm not gonna ban you. I do want you to really think about it though. As a political commentator, do you think, do you think personally that right now, I'm gonna be talking about YouTubers? If it was someone you hate, you'd be talking about them? There are plenty of people I hate and I don't talk about them in times like this because I, unfortunately for you, fucking weirdo drama perverts, okay? Unfortunately for you, there are 50,000 other adults here that actually are coming in here for political commentary. Holy fuck, bro. And like he spoke, like that clip I'm gonna have to shorten down, but he spoke for like five minutes. Spend that time talking about the Chris situation then. I'm pretty sure for as long as Hassan streams, and this man streams for a long time, like he streams for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm pretty sure you can take one hour out of your streaming day to talk about the whole entire Chris Tyson situation, especially when it is as big of a situation and as controversial of a situation as it is. You can go ahead and take time out of your day to, to react to videos about it. I mean, that's all you do anyways. All you do is react to stuff. You just sit there and react to stuff. So just do it. Just just do it. If anything, you uploading that on your YouTube, that'll get you more views than just constantly talking about this whole entire Joe Biden situation. Another creator that's come out and talked about it um, on stream has been Kai Sinat, and he himself has just come out and said that the actions towards um, from Chris Tyson have been disgusting. Bo, he's weird, bro. That's weirdo. Weirdo, 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 weirdo. Yes, yes, weirdo. Yes, Chris from Mr. Beast, bro. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's weird. I don't care. 
That shit is weird, bro. Everybody wants to see what I have to say and shit. It's weird. Should it not be it, it like none of that shit? What a video? Let me get it, let me see the tweet, bro. Whatever the tweet, the video. I just heard it on some blogs and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, what is going on, bro? Like, how do you see? How do you? How do you see? How do you know the age of someone, knowing that you're a grown ass man? and still move forward, but I don't understand it. There's also been a video floating around on Twitter of a former Mr. Beast employee who supposedly only worked there for around about nine months, but they are saying that in this, in this like clip that I'm gonna show you, and they are saying on the internet that apparently there's a lot more like hidden stuff and a lot more terrible things when it comes to the whole entire Mr. Beast crew that a lot of us don't know about. And that supposedly they reckon that it might get exposed in like the next few months. I'm outside Mr. B's studio right now. Here's a cornfield, I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on, what's happening? My name's Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. Now at the start of that clip, I can't really show it too much because they are playing Not Like Us in the background by Kendrick Lamar, like really loud at the start of the video. So I can't show the whole entire clip, just that little bit at the start, but they are actually holding a Mr. Beast non-disclosure agreement. So they they like know a lot of stuff, but they can't supposedly talk about it because they actually have signed an NDA, which is like, I mean, a lot of it's good to have NDAs. I mean, in any company, anything, it's always good to have NDAs. But I mean, considering that this person is, is, is speaking out a little bit with an NDA, is quite an eye-opener, I will admit to all this. But man, the response for this whole entire Chris Tyson situation has been extremely eye-opening. Um, it's good to see that a lot of these um, creators are holding the same energy that they did with Dr. Disrespect. Obviously, some are not. And I feel like the only reason why there's some creators who are like holding back compared to the whole entire Dr. Disrespect situation is two reasons. One, because of how big Mr. Beast is, and they always still want to leave the door open to be able to collab with Mr. Beast. And I feel like that's just kind of stupid. Like, if this person, if someone on Mr. Beast team is like acting in a terrible way, you have every right to call that person out. And I feel like Mr. Beast then has, it doesn't have a right to push you away to keep collabing with him because you called out someone within his team who was acting in an extremely disturbing way. And two, also because they don't want to be seen as transphobic and get backlash from the trans community. And it's just like, you're not calling out someone for being trans, you're calling out for someone's actions. Like, just, it doesn't really matter who someone is. Like, you know, in terms of how they identify and whatever. Like, I don't really care how someone identifies. It doesn't bother me. Like, that stuff doesn't bother me. Whatever someone's beliefs are, doesn't bother me. I judge people on their actions. How do you act? And Chris Tyson was acting disgusting during this entire situation and all the evidence that has come out from, like, from, from them, from all these DMs, from these um, tweets, from the Discord messages. Everything is absolutely disgusting and supporting, um, you know, Lolicon as well. So all that is what's disgusting. You should have, you should not be scared in any way to come out and call out Chris Tyson for their actions whatsoever. But I definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about this down below. Let me know your thoughts and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be it from me. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace out.